dancing the night away. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This sure looks familiar, doesn't it? Looks incredibly familiar. Oh no! <laughs> did, did you see that? That monster is even scarier looking than anything we've seen before! That's probably one of the Vieplings the Cubist girl was talking about. That is their name. And that's uh, very similar to the Phantoms. Very similar indeed, but you know, there's no there's no fog of doom that you have to worry about via a timer or anything like that, so we could just happily go along here and just kinda have a grand old time and oops. <laughs> <laughs> uh talking about treasure chests. Uh three. Uh actually I'm not sure where they are, so yeah, I guess you could tell me. I know there's one there. So let's just see here. Oh right, there's two in there and one in there, so I'm just gonna uh, oops, 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 I forgot they got, yeah, this isn't a touch screen. <laughs> Just jaw like that. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Okay, go ahead. Boop. And now, um, watch this. I'm gonna let myself get caught. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, and also let myself get hit. Yeah, they, they take out quite a lot of your health. So, uh, you might want to be very careful of that. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, I'm gonna run through here now that I am out of their way, and okay, I, I, that was a total waste of my rupees because I would have seen those chests right there. And what this will do is it'll open those up, and I'll see what she has to say. Oh, who are you? Ah, oh, I see! <laughs> I am the second daughter in the house of Cubus. Oh no, I've never heard of anyone named Tetra, but enough about that. Oh, won't you escort me back to my young, dear younger sister? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yes, Link. A lovely treasure rests here. There are two chests. If you must pick one, definitely pick the left. Left. Yes, yes, the left. You know which one is is left, uh, don't you? Um, no, I kind of get those mixed up all too often. <laughs> Aren't you funny, boy, Link? Left is the side that isn't right, of course. All right, so it's so left it is, and let's see what we got here. It is. Oh, uh, oh, whoops. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, it looks like I made a little mistake. I'm sorry. So yeah, that left chest is a trap. And I got the yellow potion. Yeah, heck yeah. Hey, how's it going? There? <laughs> um, I think I'm going to wait for that reapling to go around. Maybe might be I thought I could show you something interesting. Uh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> mm -hmm. And also, the Reapling doesn't really go for the Cuba sisters for some reason. Did you see that? I mean, he, he gets, could go after her, but no, he went went after me. That's very interesting, isn't it? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I got got scared. Yeah, we know, we know. Let's go through here and then I just snap that. Right out of existence. Snap you right out of existence. And also see what I can get in here. Uh, you know, the Reaplings also are affected by sounds, so when the Cubist girls scream, that'll also affect the Reaplings. So uh, that's, that's another thing you gotta be looking out for. Alright, I'm gonna hide over here now, because that other one's gonna be passing by. And, uh, oh, 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 okay, that's, that's good. I thought I was gonna go back around that way, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go nice and slow, nice and slow. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. <laughs> All right, we made it. Now, um, over here, this is where the circly thingy that I mentioned goes, and she's probably gonna get scared of the Skulltula. Ah, or not. <laughs> and now I gotta take her through here, which is probably the fastest. Well, actually, I could probably take her through the other way because the the fire is also open up. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Yeah, that's why you don't want them to get scared. It just takes more time, and it'll attract the replings if you're on the other floors. <laughs> oh no, you don't! Oh, dang it! Yes, you do. <laughs> ah, poopers! I didn't see the shadow. I probably got mixed up with her shadow, and I lost it in my sights. But that's okay. We are in the clear. And we got three out of the four sisters here now. Sweet. Oh, big sister! There you are, little sister. I'm so happy that you're okay. Thank you so much, Link. Oh, but it seems as though the sister is not with Tetra either. 
Now your friend was bringing my last sister back here safely. We will be hoping for your safe and swift return, Link. We will be waiting with bated breath. <laughs> okay. Uh, any prizes? Ooh, arrows. Those could be handy for something we'll learn about pretty soon. We thought we could have actually done already, but I didn't want to show it just yet. <laughs> Basically, um, get your bow out for the future here. I'm just gonna run through here because I don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm just as fast as they are, and yeah, I'll be able to just, sit, just go right through that, and then I'm safe. I'm not gonna wait around if I don't have to. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? The number of treasures just left here is one. And no thanks, I'll be able to find that one. <laughs> I'm not going to waste any more rupees on your hints of uselessness. Alright, let's pull some switches randomly, just because! Why not? Yeah. And... Yeah! And I'm going to kill you. Okay, that didn't do anything. So there's a special order that those switches got to be. Steel drum storage ahead, flip the switch and move the spikes. The switch is on the left and straight ahead. Okay. And hurry up! The steel drums are giggling themselves, waiting for you to free them. What? That's awkward. Um, as is this trap. Oh no! Do a spin attack right here. <laughs> you can get ma the majority of them killed off right away. <laughs> There's only five skull to loves. Yeah, I knew that was coming, so I was all prepared. Thus, it wasn't actually a trap. Technically. <laughs> Alright, so I want to hit this switch just like the sign said, and there we go. Whoa! No! That looks like it was another trap! Oh no! Oh no! It's following me! <laughs> oh, I lost it. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to go up here to the steel drums and... Oh no! I just had to do that for fun. <laughs> So yeah, that, the whole thing with that switch was a trap, and I recommend you don't hit it, just like I don't recommend you get that left treasure chest. So, But uh, I just thought I would do that for the fun of it, and it'll make things a little bit more interesting because, well, you know, it's for the sake of the walkthrough in case you were tricked as well, so... Yeah, some things in this world were meant to be pulled. 2, 4, 5, 1, 3... Guess what? Guess what? Two, four, five, one, three. That is a terrible four, so I'm gonna try and erase the tip top of that. That's good. <laughs> okay. There's always an order in which such things must be pulled. Okay. <laughs> so let's wait it. Wait it out. Wait it for him to move off to the side. I jumped the gun there. I shouldn't have let him come down this way, actually, because it takes longer than just waiting for him to go up around that corner there. Okay. Uh, I can run through here. And run through here. So the order, um, well, this might not be obvious. There's, you know, there's two ways to think about it. There's the, um, is the order of which you could, you should press the, I mean, pull the switches, and then there's the order of which you might think that you need to, uh, like say, if this one was, uh, wait, actually, no. Uh, how, how do, how was I going to explain this? That there's two ways to, let me think about this for a sec. Oh yeah, yeah, this is what I wanted to say. Um, this might make you think of which order to pull up, pull the switches, like say, if this switch was one, then this one was two, this one was three, etc, etc. Um, you know, you might, you might think it is two, two, four, five, one, three, but that's not really the case. The case is this. Yeah, you actually gotta do it in numerical order based on their positioning. Not uh, not in the numerical order of where they are, I guess you could say. <laughs> uh, in in terms of their left to right order. So that opens that up. Woohoo! I'm gonna try and run over to there before the Reapling comes through there, so I hopefully won't be seen if I hug around, around this corner. There we go. And then I can go around here and break these barrels to my heart's content. So what's the point of these barrels? Well, let's see. <laughs> Let's just see what we've got here around these parts. We've got that trap. Uh oh. Oh shoot! I just kind of messed up. <laughs> yeah, because they can hear the barrels. And whoopsie! 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 Yeah, I should have waited a little longer there. Okay, I'm just gonna go 
in here, get myself in position to break as many of these things as I can as it goes around. I think I'm, it's far enough away now, yeah, I can go bashing these like crazy. Uh, and that's what we're looking for, this switch right here, which opens those flames over there, yeah. Now just imagine how much easier this floor would be if I didn't trigger that reapling over there. And how much more boring this floor would be had I not trigger the reapling over there. Yeah, I always it's just always so much more fun to actually do it this this way than the other way of not hitting the switch at all, in my opinion. Um should I just run past him and take the hit just to get over there as quick as possible, or should I wait? I think I should probably wait, because I'm gonna have to come back through there again, I might take more damage. Just because he is in a very awkward spot. And he's gonna go down through there, and I'm gonna go back behind him while his back is turned. Very oh shoot, that was a bad idea. <laughs> and, well, you know what? I'll show this trick now. Shoot him in their back, and it'll stun them. <laughs> Well, you're gonna learn about this very soon, but I'm just getting impatient at this point that I feel the need to uh, show this trick now. And there's the one chest on this floor! 200 rupees of awesomeness! Yes, and there's something shaking over here which I'm gonna grab last. So, yeah. <laughs> Just looks silly. So it is. What is it? Is it a critter? Is it a? Oh, oh, oh no, it was a cubist sister. Oh, you found me. I was getting so lonely sitting here by myself. Who are you? I see. Well, I'm the eldest sister of the house of Cubus. Oh, please take me to my younger sister's link. Okay. So, uh, oh, there's one thing I have to tell you. The creepy creatures of the hoods and sickles are called reaplings. They are evil. They are even more devilish when they're angry. So no matter what you do, don't shoot arrows into their backs. The back is a sensitive part of the body, you know. So, um, she's telling me to do something that we already know works well. So, uh, maybe she's just, you know, she doesn't have the knowledge that she thinks she does of the Reaplings or something like that. Who knows? Who knows? We're gonna have to see. And oh, shoot, I left her behind. She's gonna get scared as a result of that. Yeah, it, it poopers. <laughs> left her a little bit too far behind. Where is the Skeltula? There we go. I don't think that'll attract the Reapling. It's only like when I tap the walls and stuff like that with my sword that it'll attract them. Okay, I'm just gonna trail them carefully and do not let her get scared. Just carefully, carefully go around. Yeah, if she gets scared, it's gonna attract the Reaplings and we're gonna be in a world of hurts. Oh shoot. Okay, we're good. We're gonna zoom right through here. Oh yeah, that's right. His path is... Uh, oh shoot, oh shoot, that's not good. Okay, she didn't scream. <laughs> Because, yeah, I, I thought his path went down through here, but he actually turns left there. I forgot about that. That's all right. Everything worked out nicely. No more reapling troubles now. Well, I guess until we get back to the other floor. <laughs> all right, we're good. Now, we're here. I think I could just loop around clockwise, and I won't have any reapling trouble. It's more about the spiders than anything that's going to give her spooks along the way. So make sure she doesn't get scared, and just go slowly so that you can tap the, the Skulltulas as you see them. And there we go, we are basically home free. <laughs> yeah, as, as I said, this is a pretty short dungeon. So, oh shoot. <laughs> as long as you, well, you know, make the pacing decent on your own. Because, you know, you gotta kinda protect her from those things, otherwise she'll get frightened. And yeah. Just try and memorize their locations as you go so that you don't uh, make her too scared along the way. And yeah, it just makes things go a lot faster overall. All right, all four. Hi, oh, big sister. There you are, little sister. Circle around, sisters. Time for some quality family time. <sighs> they really should have scared the life from this boy in the hole. Doesn't he know he's supposed to play along in this little game? <laughs> oh, it means they're going to have to play extra rough. Oh, did you come here safe, touch your little man? <laughs> oh, no, no. Instead, we'll play with you the same way we played with her. It's game time, girls. Let's show like the way to the playing field. So, yeah, the Cuba sisters are evil. And that they were misleading us the whole time. That's why I got the Rupor and I got that. You know, that said not to hit the Reapling hint, but, well, here's the boss. 
<laughs> if you want to say Tetra, you have to play a match of Dead Man's Volley first. This is the first time this action actually gets a name. So, are you a big enough boy to return these volleys? Yeah, um, they're basically like poles in a way. So, Diabolical Cuba Sisters of the Boss! And Dead Man's Volley is the name of the game where you hit the, the blast back to them. Look out for the lasers. And look for the one that is not that does not have a laser and get ready to slash at it. This is Dead Man's Volley. Yeah, you know this thing from Phantom Ganon. Dead Man's Volley is the official name for it. And I'm having some weird slowdown here, but that's probably actually gonna help me. <laughs> it's probably due to the computer processing thing here. Well, one down, three to go. Sometimes they'll bounce that around between them, and we're probably gonna be able to see that somewhere along in here. Uh, because as is the nature of boss fights getting tougher as you go along, or at least they're supposed to get tougher. There it goes. Now get ready to bounce it back wherever it ends up. It's going down that way, so get ready to slash. And it's going to do it again, I guess. So it's going to go over here, slash it back. Dead Man's Volley. I like that name. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, it is the riskiest volley you'll ever have. You have to be in the line of fire in order to hit back whatever you're supposed to hit back, you know, in whatever game that has the Dead Man's Volley here. So it's it's a really interesting concept. You see it in a bunch of games done in different ways. Like, Four Swords had the color version of it. This one bounces around left and right. The Phantom Ganon one just generally has you bounce it straight back and forth between him at varying levels of speed, etc, etc. So it's always different in each game that you come across with this. Just to make it a little bit different than the last, to throw you off just that little amount. <laughs> and the slowdown's even slowing down the music, that's interesting. Yeah, two down, two to go! By the way, obviously in the pots are hearts, that's why I'm saving them for later, just like all the other bosses. So yeah, save them just until you need them. Oh, poopers. I actually nicked them just as I said that, but that's okay. I'll just leave it hang out there in case I need it. And oh, shoot! And yeah, if they hit the wall, they'll split like that too. Also be on the lookout for a, a four. Oh, that one, that's the one you should be looking out for. Do not... Yeah, do not hit that one back, it'll split apart in your face and you'll take a hit from it, most likely. Just always go for the solid ones, not those four bubble ones. Or four laser light ones, whatever you want to call them. And let's wait for it, wait for it. It's going fast enough, in case you didn't realize that. That's why I'm having more difficulty getting to it in time, as opposed to before. Come on, come on, come on. What do we have here? It's going on the yellow one. Come on, come on, kill it off. Yes! One left. Alright, what you got, what you got, what you got? Oh man, triple splits! <laughs> one more Dead Man's Volley for the road, perhaps? Actually, probably two more. I think this one only, oh shoot, only took one hit overall. And as you can tell, how close it is now, so it's going to be even faster than it was before. So, get ready for, ah, the ultimate Dead Man's Volley. Here we go! 2D Dead Man's Volley! <laughs> oh, there we go, one more hit. We got this. Spin attacks might also help you, by the way, but they it's because they kind of something that you have to go around the circle. You might not have the time to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so you just probably want to run up to something. Ah, oh, shoot! Run up to them, and then I should probably use a little little bit of these hearts here. And oh, yeah, I can get it in time. And needless to say, you've also got to hit the volley back while there's a couple of those going around the area. Oh, you take three hits. Interesting. So, yeah, you've all, so at this part of the battle, you've, you got to sort of multitask here by having your eyes all over the place at all the time. And I like that uh, on the emulator, it shows how close the screens actually are. Like, on the actual DS, it doesn't make sense as opposed to the screen's positions as to where the the ball is going back and forth in the transition between screens. But here it makes perfect sense because... Yeah, you can actually see that, but graphically, you know, the textures and whatnot, they're actually spaced out as if they were, um, you know, supposed to be spaced out across both screens. So there's actually something off about this boss battle in terms of graphicals because of that, because norm, uh, what, what should be happening is that ball of light that we're hitting back and forth should be disappearing between the transition of the screens and then reappearing at the top screen and vice versa when it's going back and forth like that. So... 
yeah, there's it's it's kind of weird that they overlooked that. <laughs> you really know how to play, Link. Gosh, we'd love to reward you, but we don't have any trophies for you. Instead, you can <laughs> shake that precious tester of yours with you. <laughs> Goodbye! And now we get the skull key. Oh, yes! Oh, it's the ghost key, excuse me. <laughs> why, did say, why did I think it was the skull key? You beat those wicked folly girls their own game. Come on, let's go use this key to rescue, and rescue Tetra. Now, uh... I definitely recommend you get that chest, but if you want to see a, a certain line of dialogue later on, I don't recommend that you get that chest. So I'm going to leave this behind and just move on here. There is a hard container in this, and it is actually missable if you don't do the, if you don't agree to the dialogue that we're going to see a little bit later on. So uh, for the sake of seeing that dialogue, I'm going to purposefully miss that hard container and just uh, go up ahead here and then grab it later on. When we get a little mysterious package in the mail. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So, uh, now as we know, we've got all the treasure chest because of, you know, these duders here. So, we can just basically go over to where that spot is on the map that we've seen that there was a locked thingajigger here. Yep, the ghost key is used for this door right there. The replings are gone, interestingly enough. And uh, now we can go up through here. And rescue Tetra! Hopefully. <laughs> hmm? Spooky. Hmm? What's wrong, Link? Is Tetra not in there? Oh. Well, that is Tetra, I guess. Is that Tetra? What are we going to do? She's a statue! Oh, hey, uh, sorry I'm late, kid. <laughs> I fired just the spirit, so I charge in to find you. So, about that treasure. You got piles of it, right? Well, kinda. I did get that 200 rupee. Oh, I mean, no, I didn't. Uh, how can you even say that? Link's friend is in trouble. No, you can think of, about his treasure? Oh, so this is your friend. She's looking a bit pale. <laughs> oh, something isn't right with this girl. Her soul didn't get sucked away, did it? Evil ship drained away your life force. Grandpa, what are you doing here? Boy, he sure gets around. <laughs> Guess he's got a boat of his own we didn't see. If you have come this far, Link, the power of the hero is with you. Now is the time for me to tell the rest of the story. You are a clever boy. You may already know this. You see, these seas are my domain. I am not offshoots. I am the Ocean King. Yes, the lands that I should say the sea in this place that we are uh, wandering around here is not the Great Sea from the Wind Waker. It is the Sea of the Ocean King or Land of the Ocean King, whatever you want to call it. So he is the Ocean King. I was savagely attacked by an unfathomable evil. Oh, oh I sense a cutscene. I sense a cutscene. Ooh, that's a nice artwork though. His name is Bellum. His evil ran so deep that it leached the very life force from me. As you know, every creature in this world possesses a sacred power. This power is called life force. And the sand of ours is a physical manifestation of that power. And that is what brought them here. They want the life force. Mm hmm? Flip that page, baby. I struggled against my attacker in a great clash. Yeah, I really like the artwork of these slides here. But his evil was so dark that it slowly drained away my own life force. He was always a step of my attack, step ahead of my attacks, and I was eventually overcome. I was dragged to the sunless depths of the temple. Sealed up, my life force continues to drain away. Well, that's not good. Hmm? Hmm. Using the life force he leached from me. He? What'd he do? His evil spread and bred more and more foul monsters. The spirits of power and wisdom were also imprisoned. But Sila managed to split her soul and escape. Aha! So that's what happened. That split was why so much of her memory was lost. And you? What about you? Tell me! Tell me! Even among the monsters born of the sand of ours, some are especially evil. 
the phantoms who roam my temple take after the evil of their master. Supernatural strength wrapped in a plate armor, virtually invincible. They prowl the temple, searching for victims. No one can harm them. Of course, they were created to be untouchable. Yeah, they definitely are. <laughs> I had only one option. My ocean of strength had drained to just a puddle. I like how he did the Nico thing. Using my last once ounce of strength, I cloned myself, just as Celia did. Then I made a humble home on Mercate Island. I used the sand of ours to make the hourglass and enter the temple. I studied my foe, searching for ways to defeat Bellum, and waited for my chance. Celia, I'm sorry I could not tell you sooner. Ah, lost my cursor. There we go. <laughs> I worried about the spirits of power and wisdom. I never expected you to find you on the beach. You'd lost your memory, and monsters were nearby. I thought it best to keep quiet until the time came. And that's why he didn't say anything. The sea's islands are rich with life force. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Evil thing must have feared to devour that. They just had to fill their empty bellies. They hunger for life force. <laughs> Line back. A ghost ship was made to drain that life force. They used the story of treasure to lure people in. It wasn't enough for Bellum to steal my life force. He had to take what little he could from the people. So that's why he was stealing people with the ghost ship, basically. Tetra must have had a bold, vibrant soul. The ghost ship was drawn to that power. She didn't find it. It found her. Yep. And that's why Tetra is now a statue. She kind of jumped right into it on her own, too. Wait, so you're saying there's no treasure? What? No treasure? <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying. Ah, uh oh, he's not going to be happy with that. <laughs> but I can sense Tetra is still alive. Defeat that monster before my life force is depleted. I must get the Sand of Ours back. With it, I can return Tetra's life force and restore her. There is an island north of the Isle of Gust. Go there and find Zeus. He is a blacksmith. We've met him before. He will tell you more about the great evil. He knows how to slay Bellum. This is some kind of sick joke, old man. A treasure. What about all the treasure? That was the only reason I put my life on the line. And now there's no treasure? Well, I quit. You quit? You quit? Did you even listen to a story? You're a man of the sea. Don't you want to help the Ocean King? No! And you can't use my ship anymore! <laughs> no, no, I would never ask you to do this for free. If you help us defeat Bellum, I will grant you one wish. What do you say to that? Oh? Oh? Oh! Hey, quit standing around, kid! The Ocean King is in trouble! Ship out, kid! Anchors away, I said! Move it! <laughs> and... He's got his spirit back. Well, kind of. Hmm. What a word about a wish he leapt into action. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Should have involved you and Tetra and all this. With your power, you could defeat Bella. Well, he didn't really involve Tetra. Tetra just kind of wandered here and got caught by the ghost ship, jumped on, had her soul sucked away. But okay, whatever. My real body is sealed away deep in the temple. Bellum should be there too. Normally I would be fighting this battle myself, but you are our only hope. We're counting on you, Link. Alright, so let's grab Tetra and get out of here. What are you doing, Link? Grab that friend of yours and get back to my ship! Alrighty, and then we end up back at the ship. And now Tetra's gonna be there for quite a while. <laughs> so Tetra's just hanging out there. You can actually talk to Tetra, but, uh, well, she doesn't have very much to say, of, of course. <laughs> you can try, though. You can try. That's, that's, that's all that matters. I always like breaking these barrels every time I come in here. I don't know why. So, okay, line back. Alright, Link. We've got to get get out of here. This is no time to sit around with your mouth hanging open. The old man said that Zalus the blacksmith hold the, holds the clue we're looking for. We have to find that blacksmith and defeat Bellum, and then, and then the treasure will be in my hands. <laughs> What's with you? Hey, do we really need to take this guy with us, Link? <laughs> anyway, let's get going. Zalus lives on the island. Uh, lives on the island to the north of the Isle of Gust, right? 
It should be a short trip from here. Yep, let's stop wasting time. Let's go ship out. And uh, by the way, if you didn't get it by now, the uh, ghost ship you could never go back to in your playthrough. That's why that heart container is missable. But we still have another opportunity to get said heart container. So let's go over to Zaus Island there and uh, see what is up over there that we could do to get said heart container. Because, uh, you know what I should do? Um, my OCD is going a little crazy here. Uh, well, actually, no, I should keep that X over there. Because uh, I was going to erase the X over there. But that's kind of unnecessary. And by the way, look out for Jolene. because She's hanging around the seas now. Uh, but I would actually recommend you seek her out a bunch of times. Because we're going to get more stories regarding her the more we see her. Uh, I should say the more we encounter her and battle her along the way. So... Yeah, and she's a pretty funny character, uh, like Lineback too. So definitely, definitely recommend uh, rebattling her. Plus, we get prizes anyway. Special delivery, and this is why I'm here. Cause it, well, kind of. There. Oh, oh, this isn't the letter I'm looking for, but it's it's actually a letter from Jolene. <clears throat> Should be juicy. <laughs> To my baby sister, Joanne. Hmm. Many years have passed since we've seen each other. Are you well? I'm sure that you've endured heartache at the hands of some awful man. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm fine. As you can tell, I'm just as feisty as ever. You're the only sister I have in this world. We should, really should catch up. But I have to ask, um, are you, are, are you, um, you know, do you still have that weird mermaid costume obsession? I think it's fine to dress up as a mermaid and have a little fun now and then. But don't wind up at some old fisherman's end, okay? Your sis, the she pirate Jolene. And this starts an event somewhere else, but I'm gonna do that later on. So it says. Er, it seems like that wasn't few after all, Link. Um, now, chuck up the fate. Uh, do me a favor, just deliver that to Joanne, would you? <laughs> so, I got Jolene's letter. Jolene wrote this letter to her younger sister. She might be happy if you delivered it to her. You know, you can, you can check it on the collection screen. Go ready for people to meet and greet you. Okay, I'm off. And thus he is off. But that isn't the letter that I was looking for here. And we don't have any more mail here at the moment. But, or do we? <laughs> what we can do to get more mail, if we have more mail in the works, is go inside a building and then come back out. The cutscene thing isn't going to start here just yet, so it's safe to do this. And we can go back to the mail and we should have mailed. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got this time. Eventually, we're gonna get the thing that I wanted to get. Uh, this is the one. This is the one. It's your link. It's yours, Link, but there's no return address. Who's it from? I guess we don't know, but <clears throat> here's what it says. So, this thing. Link, Link, I heard that you rescued Tetra from the ghost ship. Congratulations! Well done. Haha, <laughs> amazing, really. Say, uh, did you leave something important on the ship? Maybe a hard container, you know, the one that I purposely left back there. We grabbed a few, so please take it. We're closely watching your epic adventure. Oh, scatterbrained one. <laughs> From very high in the sky. So, who is that? I'm not sure. So it says... And oops, I almost changed the window screen there. Something's attached, want it? Yes, I would. If you say no, you're going to miss out on this hard container forever. So do not say no to that. Woo! Don't know who this letter is from, but good for you. Okay, see you around the sea, sir. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we talk to Zeus.